What's up everyone and welcome to Big Brother Season 16 Episode 23 for August 14th. I'm your host, one of the zombies. With me I have Erica. Hello. And Luke. Brains. Welcome to Big Brother. Oh, Rachel well, uh, Riley, I love you and oh, ah, oh. it's the zombie from Big watching. Brother. Right, I'm hearing feedback somewhere. Yeah. So, what's up, everyone? I'm so, taking this off. Yeah. Stop it. Uh, well, Stop yeah, what? Okay, the YouTube the kept <laughs> YouTube kept playing. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> well, <laughs> what a night tonight, and congratulations, Derek and Frankie. You are the new two head of households. I wonder who they're going to nominate, and must I say, Rachel Riley, you're a legend. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you must say that. It was it was pretty exciting seeing uh, Rachel again. It was it was. She looks doesn't she look a little like more mature now, like older not older, but she looks more like mature, like you know, professional. It looked like she thinking, put on some weight to me. I was thinking no, the she, exact she opposite. I don't think she put on any weight. She never she was never heavy, Rachel. It looked like she put on some weight, and I'm curious if she's pregnant. You know what? I'm. So, I thought. I really, really thought. I'm surprised Julie didn't ask her. So, how are you and Brendan doing? And mm. I'm surprised Rachel wouldn't say. You know, or you know, we're about to have a baby or something. I really was expecting Rachel to say, "I'm pregnant." Yeah. It was so good to see her, though. So I think that means it's official that we we're not going to have a Jeff Schroeder appearance. He's not going to make an appearance outside the house. Only Rachel did this year. Yeah, probably. Well, he does have that whole show he runs for Big Brother, so... Yeah, so maybe that's why they brought Rachel in, because she's a legend, too. She was the winner of Big Brother 13. Yeah. Um, but, um... Uh, what's your take on, um, Nicole leaving the house? Do you think, uh, she's... Do you think she doesn't really care of it? Do you think she's like, oh, okay, so I didn't make it to the end, you know, but I'm gonna see, you know, you know, Hayden in the house and the jury and stuff? It's it's interesting that her and Nicole kind of, I mean her and Hayden kind of had the same um perspective on where their relationship was. They so, did. They so did. They seem pretty pretty Oh, wait a minute guys. I think we're were. having some Luke Luke is gone. What did what did you think, Erica? No, why there? Um Nicole even. But, oh. I whether or not like she's gonna be happy to see Hayden. Yeah, right. she'll be she'll be happy to see Hayden, and she'll be happy. I think uh, you know, get getting out of the house for a bit, learning, you know, getting everything straightened back out. Then they'll have that whole competition next week, and whoever comes back, you know, yeah, it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be pretty good, pretty good. Um, take over the camera frames, yay! Yeah, just just for a minute. <laughs> Um, were you surprised to see Nicole go, or or did you, uh... No. They always do that, like, didn't I, I talk about this in an earlier show, that they yeah. always make it seem like the other person's gonna go home? Yeah, well, this week it was actually legitimate, because cause they were actually trying to keep Nicole, yeah. and, like, they had... It was basically like a 50-50 split of people that wanted to keep Nicole and people wanted to not keep Nicole. Mm-hmm. Like Donnie had nothing to do with it. Right. There was no pro Donnie, anti Donnie, anything. It was keep Nicole or don't keep Nicole. Right. And finally, they just decided to not keep her. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how they edit that where they show us where it's like, okay, well, let's vote Donnie out, and then they don't show us the reverse side where they change their mind and decide to go back to uh, Nicole. Right. So, um, yeah, it's just it's weird. <laughs> so. I came prepared this time. I had a second yeah. frame set up for, for when somebody de disconnects. Um, yeah, this has been happening a lot lately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, went, what were you going to I said like, you went the entire last year, all those shows, never had that problem. Nope, not once. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, what were we just discussing? Uh, if you were surprised that Nicole ended up leaving. Um, in all honesty, no, I wasn't really surprised. I knew everybody was going to vote to evict her because it was obvious that Donnie was going to be a pawn and stuff like that. So, 
Now I'm just curious as to find out who Derek and Frankie are going to nominate and who is going to be dethroned as HOH. I, no offense. There's nobody left in the house, uh, really. What? I said there's nobody left in the house, really, so it shouldn't be too bad. Didn't they announce that this was also the last week of the double? Uh, yeah. So the twist is over after this. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, really, there's... Isn't that what Julie said? This is the last battle of the block? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know you know something, though? So even though the numbers next week are going to be the same, because they did say there was going to be four people yeah. uh, that were eliminated, one was coming back. So even though the numbers are going to be the same, they're, they're not having the competition as of uh, after this week. Yeah, they're you know have something to... I... What? I'm sorry, they're going to have to put up their own uh, their own group members. Yeah. Cause I'm afraid that's, there's the, that's Victoria, the way Oh, There's Victoria, Donnie, is the only one that's not in that group. Mm-hmm. And so, well, just looking at people left, I think maybe Christine and Caleb, the other two? I don't mm-hmm. know. They could be the next targets, the potential next targets. I... I don't know, I have a feeling, I don't think, you know something, it's hard to say, because I think they're all in the same group, and Derek and uh, Frankie are the next HOHs, but you know something, I want to see, this is my personal opinion, but as the last HOH standing this week, I want it to be Derek. (laughs) Mm. I want Derek to be the remaining HOH standing this week. Yeah. This is going to be rough, I don't know who they're going to pick, um... I, I think I think Donnie and Victoria are definitely going up, but I think they're yeah. going to be opposite sides. Yeah, um, because probably. They're going to want to try to keep a member of the detonators still in the house. So by ensuring that Donnie and Victoria are on opposite sides, one of them should theoretically go home. But you know that's not how it always works. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling somebody from the detonators will in fact be going home and then they m- probably will turn around and come right back in, unfortunately. Yeah, because yeah, that's cause... part of the twist. A jury member could have the opportunity to come back into the game. So and we'll just wait and see what happens. Something's going to happen last minute. They're de- going to decide to make a power push, get a big player out like Caleb, Cody, something like that. And then next thing you know, they're going to be turning around and walking right back in the door by the end of the episode. That's right. Yeah, that's the way it all plays out. It's the way the cookie crumbles. Yep. Yeah, because they, if they set them side by side, like, you know, Victoria on one team, Donnie on the other, then say, for whatever reason, Victoria's team wins the battle of the block, she's off. Donnie wins the veto, he's off. Well, there you have, you know, two people. Yeah. They're from their own team. Yep. So, did you guys see the Team America challenge that they have? Yeah. The uh, the second option seems more likely. Yeah, because yeah, you know, some, I'm, gonna vote for, I'm, I'm probably going to vote for B. Yeah, let's keep a, a house member awake for 24 hours and try to destroy <coughs> their game. Should be interesting. Uh, not, Maybe they, uh, not a lot of people can function on 24 it, hours of being awake. It won't be interesting no. because they'll refuse to do it yet again. Yeah, you, no, you never know. I mean, maybe they will accomplish this mission. You know, they can't just keep failing. You know, because then that's going to end the twist, like within time. I mean, I think they have to have a, I think they have to have like a period extension. It's, I don't know. I've I've kind of lost interest in the whole thing because of Donnie and him just refusing to do these yeah. things over and over. Well, yeah. see, this one they could do without Donnie if Donnie refuses to do it. Frankie or uh, Derek. Derek can step up. Yeah. Right. So this one does not rely on one person's shoulder. The other option was to hide a one member of clothing that was an important article of clothing from every house member and then yeah. set up a neighborhood watch. What? That, yeah. that no what? sense. I, I, I'd, I'd rather vote for B because that, that was, I don't know, that sounded kind of stupid to me. I'm like, okay, that's not <laughs> going to work. Be honest. Come on. Yeah, I have no clue. That was that was the weirdest. As soon as I, I was like, where's it going? Because I wasn't reading the screen. I was listening to Julie when, when she said it. And yeah. uh, I was like, okay, hiding a member's important article of clothing. I go, okay, so the Gator t-shirt. Like, I'm, I'm thinking of all kinds of things. And I'm like, this could be interesting. And then I heard Neighborhood Watch, so it doesn't happen again. And I'm like, what? 
Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's awful. So yeah, I think I think B is what they're gonna end up doing, and I'm hoping they at least attempt this one. I don't know if they'll succeed, but I'm hoping they attempt. I I hope so too. I mean, if they don't succeed, I'm I'm at least hoping that they attempt it as well. I won't be surprised if they fail, but Donnie's not gonna be the one to do it because he couldn't stay awake during the the zombie thing. He wants to go take a nap. Right. But um, what do you guys think of the whole uh, the zombie? competition thing like mm. the way they set it up and everything like it was big, the big I zombie was, outbreak i thought it was kind of cool and spooky you know i like the effects and stuff and the way everybody was just freaking out like ah, ah, it was like it was without a doubt exhilarating well they've been living in the house for you know over 50 days i think it's like 56 days or something so they could be thinking that and, they could be going nuts basically well the, they're they're just did. used to seeing those mirrors they're kind of they're kind of tuned out those mirrors by now yeah, and so now they're starting to see things pop in behind it. It's like it breaks that illusion. Yeah, like okay, I'm too like they're too scared to even go to sleep, and even they went into the uh, the fire room. Yeah, into the fire room. I mean, it was like wow, you know, they wanted to turn out the lights and kind of make it a little spooky with each other, you know. Yeah, that was funny though. I was cracking up watching them like uh, with the uh, the night vision cam, like running and scurrying and hiding, like. Beast Mode Cowboys that heading was, under was, the covers. That was so cute. He looked so cute. A hot little muscle man behind the bed. It was so adorable. Oh, speaking of which, uh, that just reminded me real quick. Uh, the very beginning of the episode, when... Uh, what did Cody... Cody said something to Caleb, and Caleb like jumped on the bed and attacked him. And Frankie was like... They oh. were spanking Frankie's ash, his hot bubble butt. But, he, kept, um, he kept repeating it, like, because yeah, he wanted to get, he wanted it on that action. He's like, oh, that's what it takes? Yeah, a clown. A clown <laughs> oh, clown. That was so hot. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that so, um, we've seen competitions like this before where they give information, it comes running through the whole night. We don't know how long exactly this recording was playing, but it seemed like it was in a few different segments, so I'm going to assume it was spread across the night and not in one chunk yeah um but uh the details that they had to to pay attention to because like i was listening to it and i i try to pay attention to what i can too and when i heard geesley i stopped and i was like geesley and i, I was like geesling dan geesling Gies- whatever and i uh i stopped i'm like okay that's that's what i have to remember i didn't think to remember the like subtitle of the the hospital you know yeah. yeah but that's where it makes the game tricky right so this year they're they're definitely going a little uh above and beyond the the thought process on on this one mm-hmm. I, yeah i like that one because you know normally it's it's like look at these pictures and and then they ask questions like how many balls was in where were they juggling or yeah. you know something stupid yeah. like that this one was all audio yeah. there was no text there was no vi- no pictures it was just Listen to the news reports. How many times yeah. did we say the word brains? All right. I it was three saw, times, right? Three times was the correct answer. Yeah. I even saw Erica on uh, Facebook had posted uh, <laughs> my favorite yeah. line of the entire show. All right. And what what line was that, Erica? I let me pull up the, the wording again. Big Brother would like to remind you that eating another house guest's brain is ground for immediate expulsion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a rule that has been in effect since day one. It's been in effect. It's been in effect one. since what was it, season one or season two, where that guy put the knife up to the other girl's throat yeah. and was like, yes. "Would you care yeah. if I kill you?" Yeah, that was season yeah, two. Yeah, that's where he got he yeah. got expelled. Then, uh, let's wait a minute. That that brings up a couple of expulsion history. It was that there was well, that was the first was, one. Yeah, then there was season eleven where Shima got expelled for being a smartass little bitch preppy little bitch that she was and um oh. where and then willie and then willie was a victim was uh expelled on season 14 because he chest butted uh joe you know i've gotten four likes on that status already nice that's awesome nice. <laughs> um the the graveyard itself was a little uh eerie Right? They, I thought it was one guy that was like creepy. vibrating in the the grave. Yeah, that, I was that like, was, something's that was, wrong with him. Yeah, like that was like creepy. I was like, wait, is that a real person? I'm like, oh no, that's an animatronic. Yeah, I thought it was a real person at first too. 
I know, but wasn't it, that's what's so cool about animatronics. They make it look so real. It's like really cool. And um, I wonder, I think we're due for another endurance HOH competition after this. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing where it all goes and stuff. I mean, I'm kind of glad to see that the, the Battle of the Block twist is ending. So that way we could get things rolling with the game back to normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it'll I'm, be it'll be nice. Um, what'd you guys think about the uh, Thursday night football um, little excursion trip that they had? I know you guys aren't the biggest of football fans, but no, I thought I'll, it was pretty cool. I loved how how Doe just completely set out on the competition, and, and both of you were like, "No, he doesn't deserve to go. He shouldn't go. He he shouldn't get to go." And and he was the he was the happiest, giddiest person there. Yeah, I mean, it was like it was like his dream come true to be at this thing. It was. Yeah. And I still stand by my words. I don't think he should have been allowed to go. That's oh, I'm oh, happy he had a good time. Uh, Caleb because Caleb. he didn't participate in the Battle of the Block. You, you notice Julie called him out on that, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you got to go, thanks to Frankie. <laughs> yeah. So, thanks to Frankie, so I hope he did thank Frankie because you know what, I mean, come on now, I mean, I mean, if it wasn't for Frankie, you wouldn't be out of the house looking at what you're seeing, and it was a dream come true for you. Right. 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 Now, that's still, that had to be really cool to meet the, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys and um, just Excuse being me. at the training grounds, they got uh, autographed T-shirt. They got to bring that stuff back to the the that, house that with a, them. That that was a definite VIP experience. They they rode on a bus. They got to like see the outside world. They is this the first time when they've gone outside the house on like a little excursion that they've actually had conversations after, with people? Yeah, no. after fifty three, well, fifty three days they've been in the house. The last year or year before last whatever when whenever the olympics Season was going 14, on big, big brother 14 it was shane and they, danielle that got yeah, they trip. went to the olympics yeah shane and, danielle went to the, shane and danielle went to that they they left the house to go see that and they got to talk to people it was only like a handful of people but still yeah, yeah because okay. you have to be careful because you can't right. have any contact from the outside world it's a rule right right so well they can't they have to like tell it has to be like a, a closed environment right and they have to tell the people don't mention anything about the show to these people you know yeah because it's part of the game you know this is all part of big brother it's a strict game yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's getting down to the wire here and uh the choices are rough like i have no clue outside of victoria and donnie on opposing sides who's going to go up who's going to agree to be a pawn christine probably will end up going up um She's going to be evicted, I bet. She seems like the weakest member of the Alliance, and then I could possibly even see Caleb going up if they've forgiven Frankie. Uh, Frankie's still on. Um, yeah, so Frankie that's, can't get backdoored. Uh, Frankie can only get backdoored, rather. Um, well, if, I, Frankie is de if Frankie is dethroned, there's a possibility that he could be backdoored. Well, I have, I have something that actually that I was just thinking of. In the um, speech that they were giving at the beginning... Derek was like, there's only four possible replacements, and he went through and he named them all. Frankie was not one of these possible replacements. Does that mean when you win Battle of the Block, you gain immunity? If if you were if you were nominated and you win Battle of the Block, you cannot be put back on the block. Okay. Yeah, it's, you, it's so the same you as Vito. You win immunity. You win the immunity. Okay, I did not realize that. So yeah, that's interesting. Okay, it's just like the Vito. If you win, if you're taken off with the, you know. Or whatever. If you win the veto, you can't be put on the block. So. Yeah, exactly. That's part of the rules of the game. Hmm. Well, I'm still rooting for Derek like Rachel. You know what? That's one thing I agreed with tonight with Rachel. You know, I mean, Rachel's like, I don't know what's going on with Zanky, but I hope they remain best friends. And Zach, Zach even said, yeah, he's still my best friend. You know, they didn't say anything about boyfriends, you know? <laughs> yeah. So Rachel, my Rachel thinks they're the cutest thing. Yeah, you know something? I'll agree with Rachel on that, but it's not a real showmance. Right. Yeah, you know something though. I'm my jealousy's kind of fallen now, so you know I could care less. But I'm still rooting for Derek. Yeah, I think <laughs> Derek's gonna win. Derek, Derek's I want gonna Zach to win, but Zach that's win. not gonna happen. You put Zach against anybody else in the house, and he's not gonna get the votes. No, you right. know something. I want to see Derek win right now. Derek is my. I'm rooting for Derek. No offense to you guys, but I'm rooting for Derek. I mean. I think it's possibly going to come down to Derek and Zach um, at the end. I, I hope so. I mean, I could if they're up if they're in the final two, I'll be satisfied. Okay, I just want to see at least one of them win. You know, some if Derek wins, he played a good game, and kudos to him. Yeah, he did. He's he's 
kind of played a low key game too, even but though he is running the house. But look how far it's gotten him gotten him in this game. Right. And like we talked about last week, how he pulled everybody into the same room and then like ended up pulling like a, a triple hat trick there. Like that was incredible. Uh, it was. form of manipulation, so he hands down deserves to win. Whether or not he's going to uh, is another story, but we'll see. Would, would you? Would you? If you were in the jury, would you vote for him? Yeah, I would too. Uh, you know, something I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm. Let's not push it further. I want to see what's going to happen this week. So let's just leave it at that. I'm not looking at any spoilers. The problem is, I'm friends with somebody who does the Big Brother live feed, so I kind of know what's going to happen. But I'm going to do my best not to look at that on Facebook. Maybe I could hide it. Maybe I could hide it from my news feed if I possibly can. Yeah, I think that is possible. Is there is there an option that I could hide the news feed? Um, on Facebook, it don't they give you the option like hide this person from your news yeah, feed? Yeah, yeah, you could do okay. that. Yeah, I'm going to do that right when we get off our uh, right after we finish the podcast. That's exactly what I'm going to do because. I, I don't want any spoilers, okay? I just want to be prepared of what's going to happen. Yep, from here on out. I've only caught a few spoilers here and there, but from here on out, I'm done. I'm not even watching Big Brother uh, After Dark because the After Dark spoils it for you on there as well. Exactly. So, yeah. Getting down to the wire. Um, we are getting down to the wire, and we're on by a thread. Do you see Nicole possibly winning the competition and coming back to the house, or do you think she's out? I don't see any way of Jocasta winning, like... There's no way. It really, I don't... really depends on what it is. Yeah. Yes. Cause, no. Because if you noticed, big, uh, production tends to make. They haven't really done it so much this year, but in all the previous years, you could tell they tend to make a competition that is based on one person, and that person, you know, it favors their skill sets. Right. And so they might not win. They usually don't win, but it is. So it depends on really. You know who who this competition, whatever it is, favors really. Mhm. Yeah, we shall see. Uh, you guys have any other uh, closing thoughts? Yes. Nah. Uh, let me see. Who will Derek and Frankie nominate for eviction? And it's up for grabs in the Battle of the Block. It all happens Sunday at eight seven Central on Big Brother. And hello, Mister Pectacular. <laughs> and as a little update, we are due. For a twist in a Zingbot twist. So let's see what Zingbot has this year for the house guests. Oh, I can't wait to see Zingbot and I Zach. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see Zingbot. Ooh. Zingbot versus Zach is going to be epic. Oh, yes. Oh, I feel like Rachel Riley. This is awesome. Zingbot. Oh, my God. Zingbot, I love you. And I love you, Mr. Pectacular. <laughs> okay. Oh, Bert and Ernie. Okay. Come on, Erica. <laughs> Hey, Hydra. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, I we've we've seen all of Erica's final thoughts. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and remember to be that a is my final thought. inside the Big Brother house. Watch the house guests anytime with the live feed on CBS.com all day and all night. Excellent. And you, Audible. You can sign up on a, a <laughs> Audible.com uh, for a free audiobook. Go to www.offers or offer. Sorry, no s. Offer gb.com slash capital shb lowercase p uh sign up receive a free 30-day trial and any audiobook of your choice do it do. do it um before before i wrap it up close it off erica and luke i'm putting you guys on the spot yeah. give me your best zing right now house guests Please come to the living room. Give me your best insult, not Zingbot impersonation. Give us your best insult. Oh. Sorry, Nicole, ya Froat Loop Dingus. You have been eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Erica. Erica. <laughs> Erica, come on. I can't do voices like that. You don't have to do the voice. Really? Just give me your, your best zing. I'm putting you on the spot. Come on, come on, Erica, you could do this. Uh, I don't know how to word it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you because I can't come with that up with anything on the spot either. So, um, yeah. So I <laughs> think that about yes. closes the show. Uh, you can find us uh, all on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Gmail, G Plus, and 
Twitter. And Facebook. Friendster and did it completely out of order. Mass there. Face and <laughs> no, not none of those two. But uh, <laughs> slash ASO TV podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. The fall series is ranking up. Uh, most shows are coming back the final week of September, first week of October, and we will be super busy with over thirteen podcasts for you every week as long as the shows are airing. So Doctor Who, two weeks from now. Yay. Yay. Um Yeah, so until Sunday. Sunday night. Uh Monday we'll be recording this. We'll see you guys later. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Luke. Good night. Delete, delete, delete. 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 Anyway, boy.